Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. Welcome to day two of the Month of Machine 2012. In this video, we're going to look at the basics of setting up your audio sound card. Now, you might think that the sound card settings would be in the general preferences for the application. And while that might be true for just about any other application, Machine actually separates out the sound card settings to their own area. So we're going to go to File, and then we're going to select Audio and MIDI Settings. The first tab is the audio tab. This is where you're actually going to be selecting the sound card that you want to use with the program. Driver is the first option. If you're on a Mac, it's probably going to be Core Audio. And if you're on a Windows machine, it will probably be AISO. Device is the actual sound card that we're using. I'm using the built-in sound card on my laptop for this video, so it's built in. If you want to change this, you can simply click on the drop down menu and then select the sound card that you want to use. Now once you have your sound card selected, you want to go into the routing tab and make sure that all of your inputs and outputs are set correctly. So we'll go to the routing tab and we're going to start on the inputs tab. To change any of the routings, you can simply click on the connection and then change it to the particular type of input that you would like to assign it to. We're just going to leave our inputs like this for now. Then we're going to go to outputs. Now there's a lot more outputs for machine. Obviously, there are 16 different pads, so you could route each one to its own output, for example. But by default, it's really just going to map machine out 1L and machine out 1R to the output on your sound card. Machine routes the audio in a very particular way. The sound will go to the group, and then the group will go to the master, and the master will go to the output. So by default, everything will come out of machine out 1L and machine out 1R. Since I only have one output on my laptop, it's assigned the machine out 1s to output L and R on my laptop. If you're using something like an Audio 8 and using machine alongside another program like Tractor, you may need to change these outputs to something like output 7 and 8 or output 5 and 6. It really all just depends on how you want to route the software. We'll be talking about more complex routing for live performance in the future. But if you're just going to be using machine as a production tool, you want to make sure that you have machine out 1L and machine out 1R set to the main output on your computer. And once you've set all of your ins and outs, you can simply click OK and that will save all of the sound card settings. Check back in tomorrow, May 4th, when we look at how to create custom drum kits. You can follow the Month of Machine 2012 on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And don't forget to visit the DJPodcast.com for more reviews, news, and how-tos.